Of health, hernia and abdominal wall surgeon Dr. Jana Sacco joins us to talk about complex hernia surgery and comprehensive hernia care. Doctor, thank you so very much for joining us today. So what exactly is a hernia? So a hernia is a weakness in the abdominal wall and basically can cause a hole and anything on the inside of your abdomen can bulge through that hole. So doctor, who, who gets hernias? So anyone can get a hernia, someone that's young all the way to someone that's old. The most common hernias happen after surgeries, so those are incisional hernias. You can also get hernias at natural weak spots in your abdomen, most commonly at your belly button or just above your belly button or down in the groin. Okay, so well, how do you fix a hernia? Yeah, so a hernia is fixed surgically. It's really the only way to repair a hernia. And the basic premise is that we close the hole and then we add a layer of mesh, typically behind the muscle. Hey, Doc, what are the latest advances in hernia surgery? So the biggest advance in hernia surgery is minimally invasive surgery, which basically means using tiny instruments in a camera to go inside your abdomen and fix the hernia from the inside. The biggest improvement with this is really that it's decreased our recovery time. So most of these procedures are outpatient, meaning they come in, you get surgery, you go home the same day, and patients are able to get back to their jobs, their families, whatever it is that they love to do faster, which is really important for us because hernia surgery is really a quality of life operation, and our goal is to just get you back to your quality of life. What does a standard recovery after hernia surgery look like? Yeah, so it can depend based on the complexity of the surgery, but typically a lot of these procedures are done as an outpatient, like I mentioned. So you're going home the same day, you're able to walk, you're able to do stairs, get up and out of bed that same first day. You know, within a few days, most people are back to the grocery store doing their regular activities. We do recommend um, limiting heavy lifting for usually about two to four weeks. Um, but, you know, like I said, the goal is to get patients back and moving kind of as quickly as possible. It actually helps your recovery. Well, doctor, let me ask you, what is so special about UF Health hernia care? What, what makes you unique? Yeah, so I think the most important thing about what we do here at UF Health Jacksonville is that we really provide a comprehensive approach to hernia care. And so I am a hernia surgeon and specialist in hernia care, but I really have an entire team here that helps take care of the patient. Because we're a tertiary care academic center, we also collaborate a lot with other physicians. So we work with urologists, with gynecologists, um, interventional radiology and radiology. Um, and that really allows us to provide that comprehensive care for the patient and allow to take them through the entire journey of the before, during surgery and after surgery recovery period. All right, Doc, before I let you go, what should patients do if they think they have a hernia? So the first step is really to talk to your primary care doctor. They can examine you, they can let you know if they think you have a hernia, and they can refer you to see us and have more of a conversation about what your options are for your hernia. Doctor, I really appreciate your time today. And guys, if you want to catch segments like this again, all you have to do is head over to First Coast News Plus.